Are we on? We are. <laughs> right. Welcome to the Cook's Pantry. Better yet, welcome to my hometown. We are fortunate enough to be filming in Noosa and I'm sure you've seen this before if you've ever been here. The Noosa National Park, it's an absolute iconic location, an absolute must, where there are droves of people heading out to Hell's Gate to check out the beauty of this place. And we get to start right at the foothills and I'm gonna be cooking up some fish tacos. So cooking up something like fish tacos only seems fitting when I'm in a location like this. And you know, with the amount of people that head out into the park, pack their picnics for the day, I feel like this is absolutely something that you can knock up on the spot, keeping it so simple. And you know, I guess it's, it's always nice to put yourself in that position where you're eating a beautiful piece of seafood. You've got the sea breeze blowing, you're right next to the water. It's just, you know, it's all encompassing. That's what it's all about. We've got some beautiful local snapper here. It's the same stuff that we use in the restaurant. So I just go into a nice hot pan, good hit of the extra virgin olive oil. And I'm just gonna... <laughs> I wonder if I hold, there we go. That'll season my fish. Using the wind to my advantage. There we go, just on both sides of the fish and then lay that in the pan. I'm gonna go in with a couple of, couple of pieces of the snapper and just a little bit more extra virgin olive oil. All right, so I'm just gonna let that tick away for a little bit and I'm gonna knock up a really, really, really simple mayo using one of my favorite ingredients. It's a Korean red pepper paste. So it's called gochujang um, and it's, it's quite funky. It's very um, salty, a little bit sweet, sour uh, and there's a little bit of spice in there as well. So keeping it really simple, a good couple of tablespoons in there, just some whole egg mayo over the top. And this is, you know, the beauty of having stuff like that in the cupboard, it's ready to go. If you want to whip this up at home, add your own flavors to it, and you're made to be none the wiser. All right, so you can see the color in there, absolutely beautiful. So that is done. So simple, but there is so much flavor. Finding really cool little ingredients like that, whether you head out to your um, Asian grocer, I love doing a big shop at the Asian Grows. So head out there, grab a basket, and just walk through the aisle, look at things that you've never seen before, uh, and throw them in, take them home, give them a shot. You never know what you're gonna stumble across. That fish is just starting to, to crust over. So we'll let that sit for another couple of minutes. While we're waiting for that fish to finish off, I'll just give you a quick run through the little slaw that we've got here. Green mango. It's that classic case, and I know I use it a lot. You know when you put that, that into your mouth and your, your jaw muscles start to tingle and really rev up? That's exactly what this stuff does. It is basically just a, an early picked mango. So the acidity levels in it are insane. We've just got some Thai basil. You know I use that stuff a lot. Uh, and a little bit of mint and just some bean sprouts. And I'm gonna dress that really, really simply just with some lime, just to really boost that natural acidity in the, the green mango and tie everything together. A Little bit of lime, a little bit of salt, and that'll just start to break it down a little bit. These are ready to flip. So I'm just gonna tease the edges. So we've gone skin off with the snapper. It's just gonna make it a lot easier to, to flake up and portion out into our tacos. As soon as that's done, I'm gonna throw a couple little knobs of butter in there and just dress the top of the fish, just to, I guess it, it just really gives that beautiful flavor to finish off a piece of fish in the pan. So whether you're coming down to the National Park or you're going over to the North Shore to go camping, all of this stuff can be made before time. So you go to the supermarket, you get your, your sleeve of your takeaway containers, box it all up, you've got your slaw made, you've got your mayo made, you can have all this done at home, ready to go. Take your fish, pinch one of the barbecues that are just at the start of the National Park, head up there, cook your fish, come down, sit on one of the rocks. I mean, really, what else do you want to be looking at while you've got a fish taco in this hand, potentially a beer in this hand? I really don't think it gets much better than that. We've just got some white flour tortillas. If you want to make it gluten free, you can head down to your local supermarket, any, any specialty stores, health food stores, to get some good corn tortillas. They are gluten free, so don't forget your gluten free mates. We've all got one. All right, so tortillas in there. And basically what we're wanting to do is just soften it, make it really nice and malleable so you can load it up with your fish, your slaw, your mayo, manhandle it, wrap it all together and you've got that one hand wonder to uh, munch on while you're checking out the view. Everyone's got their own method to how they put together their tacos for me. I'm a good hit of the 
mayo on the base. Look at the colour in that mayo, and that's, I mean, there's a pretty solid ratio of the gochujang paste and the mayo, so there is gonna be a decent amount of spice in there. If it's too spicy for you, just hit it with a little bit more mayo, just to lengthen it out and sort of numb that spice. But you know what I'm like. When you're making your fish tacos, I'm not a huge fan of frying the fish. I think if you can get a beautiful white flesh fish, like this snapper, and just flake it. it just, it's just got such a lush texture. And then to top that and bring it all together, the green mango slaw. And stack them up, like, <laughs> with my tacos, I want it, like, so I've really got to manhandle it, push it down and wrap it up. Look at that. All right. Who's got the beers? That's what, that's what I want to know. Cold beer in this ham. Fish taco in that ham. Green mango. Really good hit from that mayo. And that 